On behalf of TVLesson.com, I'm Dan Ackerman with CCW.MS. In this clip, we're going to show you how to do a top wrist lock. All right, JT Flash and Ringo are going to tie up, collar and elbow. And again, you'll notice right hand in the elbow joint, left hand around the collar. Both men are locked together, and they can control each other. As they move around the ring a little bit, you'll see that they're locked in together, especially when their bodies are sweaty and everything. You want to be able to make sure that you don't lose contact with your opponent. Now, Chaotic Romeo is going to slide his wrist back, grab JT Flash's wrist, bring his other arm across into the elbow joint as he folds his arm back. And he's got his wrist like this, and that's a top wrist lock. Now, JT Flash, at this point it becomes a test of strength. JT Flash will put his wrist up there, and they can battle back and forth. And if the stronger man gets the advantage, as Romeo pressures JT Flash down, JT Flash will bridge back and try and use his leg strength. You see the size of the quadriceps on JT Flash. He's going to push up with his legs, trying to get Romeo back to a standing base and take advantage. And you'll see now as he bridges in again, this is some neck bridge to the mat. He's going to use his leg strength and his upper body as he pushes Romeo back up to a standing position. Tremendous strength displayed on the part of JT Flash. Now, another thing we can do from here is to do a top wrist lock takedown. JT Flash is going to turn his body to the right, go down to his hand and knee, and as he pulls Romeo's arm down, Romeo's going to have no choice but to go down to the mat. And that is a top wrist lock takedown. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this has been Dan Ackerman. Thanks for watching.